Hey guys, Son of Beast here, and this is Game 5 of the Eastern Conference Finals. So far, New York Rangers have extended their lead over the Florida Panthers 3-1 in the series. But it looks like the 4th and 5th can be the only one to try to pick it up here to go right from head to head. It might be New York heading to the finals to play against the winning team in the Western Conference. It might be somebody in here from the other team that could try to hold them up in together. We're not sure who will it be. Will it be the Avs or will it be the Flames? And try to hold things up here along the board. But because of this one, we may not know if they can try to make it that far, but we'll keep an eyes on them, just for sure. And for positive things, and most of important, it's a lot of a uh, would-be credit to give that one a whirl. Anyway, enough of this one. It's time to send you down to BB&T Center to start the presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs and Eastern Conference Finals. Let's get in the world to head it off to Beat Bone along with OJ and around the back will be the other one, Silver Spoon. Let's give this one each a whirl to start things off, shall we? Enjoy the game. Right now the series is 3-1 New York. Let's get started. Enjoy the game. This is now a pounding down to be a one-time dropper here. Hello everyone, Beat Bone along with OJ and Silver Spoon. This is the Stanley Cup playoff of the Eastern Conference Finals on EA Sports. Let's give this one a shout and get started for Game 5. It's in between the two. Who is going to win and head towards to the Stanley Cup Finals? There might be somebody out there that might be getting ready to play along the deck. Here are the starting groups here. We have his advantage at. Then we have his Ryan Lindgren. Across him down there, we have his Chris Kreider. That's Artemi Panarin. And along the way is Adam Fox. Adam Fox is the only player that has deed himself to try to work his game right from the speed. The only difference in between those two got a lot of hate and making in between. We always know that Fox can definitely try to hold things up here. And for Artemi Panarin, he's got a great uh, make it snappy zone to hold the deck. We might have to find out if he can try to hold things up here to give that one a shot. That shot stayed by Shesterkin. That one stops and clears the puck down on ice. Rangers pick up their shift. That sends out of reach. Panarin loses the puck. And the other side, here we have his Herberdu. Sorry for Hagee. Goodrow takes over to Lindgren. Back to Goodwill. Stick puck and lifted by Bennett. Bennett races toward the other end. Ben Aaron back to Lindgren. Perry Rangers are picking up a lot of pass movement out there. Back end shot saved again by Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky was never going to try to handle one. Strong saved by Bobrovsky. He holds the puck here with just under 17 minutes to play in the first period. Both teams are in center of the ice for the faceoff. Me, along with OJ and Silver Spoon, seals no scoreless in the game. Forcing dishes off to Declare. The Panthers regain their group on offense. He finds Urbanu, shoots it, save. Oh, what a stop! He moves quickly to Hito. Hito fires the puck over across the ice around the board. Gavir will take it in team from here. Truba up to Hito. That pass is broken up. Not a great succeed out there because Bennett was trying to pick up a moment to try to hit the deck. He really wants to take the, take the puck away from him to battle for the puck. He can't lose it. Punch shoot stopped by Bobrovsky. What a stop here made and Herbert knew back to Bennett. Now he swings to Declare. Declare, that pass is broken. Gauthier has got the puck. Fish off the fire from the board. Kreider along the board. Horsling takes it over. Lundell back the other way. Battling the puck. Gauthier's got it. Off to Zabanajad. And Gudas has the puck taken away. 
A lot of dogs loose puck battling in between the two. They have really got no strength to tell because that was a very tough one to try to keep the momentum out of here. They got to help somebody out. Lafayette has the puck. Takes a shot, saved by Bobrovsky. That one holds the puck here with under 15 minutes to play. Still dead in the scorebook. In enough now, our Timmy Panarin has gotten the receiving points of his own. He makes it snappy and he finds his teammate and look for an open pass or a shot clean. He can try to take down with his open man advantage and try to help the team out. In between the two, he can try to help him out to regain control. We'll see what air Timmy Panarin's got and try to figure it out what he can do. Back to you guys. Jones racing the other way. He faced over Strom. That is deflected off of Bobrovsky by the goaltender. Took a big hit here. He really has to stand out at that point. That player was going to be able to haunt them down. They're going to like take pay the back out of them. Stopped up by Bobrovsky. Good road back to Strom. Strom back to Jones. Now it's Snyder. Takes a shot. That's saved off by Bobrovsky. Barkov has the puck. Now switch over to Marchman. Almost took the bad pass out of here. And Goodrow has one. And stopped by Verhege with the other way. Marchman on his own. One on one. And a puck. Losing it. Saved off. Stop and saved by Shesterkin. He really wants it. With that call, you gotta go quick. Rieger right to Marchman. Marchman went down, and that was a little bit too much congestion in front. In the back, that might have been a really tough one to try to save it out. Can't lose the puck. Up to the other hand, here is another one that we're going for, is, is, uh, is Rudy. Up to Reeves. Oh, he went and made a shot, but he went too close and had a bad timing. Herbert's got it as a puck in a neutral zone off to Bennett. He fires the puck around the board. Lindgren takes it over. Now fires over to Rooney. Backhand pass to Kreider. Kreider is taking one. Two on one. Oh, we checked it by Bobrovsky and almost went in the net. You can tell me that one the feel. This one's going back in, in and out for tomorrow. Here's another one coming in down here for the faceoff zone. In between the two, still scoreless. Here's to Clara, back in his own end. He now hits off the Herbert dude. Now beats the odd man rush. Just Durkin back to Savannah out. Long pass by Lafayette. Off to Kreider. Kreider shoots and stopped by Bobrovsky. That just is off to Truba. Back to Miller. Now back to Truba. He swings back to Miller. Made some light changes out there. Truba going right around him. He shoots inside and a rejection rebound is tipped out. Tipping out's not a good idea to try to keep it in front of it. It really does help it out. Pass rejected. Declare in the other end. Miller taking a big body check. He got it all down. That was a very toughness on the call. He really was going to try to send it down there, but he's never going to like try to lose it. He has to get right into it and try to force it down and get right into it. And they ever change up here. Tippett has one. And stopped by Shesterkin and a hustle on the play. We'll, to, we'll pause the, the game. We're ready for another faceoff. Teams are ready to get things going. Rangers and Florida Panthers are scoreless once again. Defensive zone takes the win. Wow, he put a big heavy Hedo. Hedo back to right to Hunt. Over to Gauthier. The puck is taken away by Gudas. Now he slides it over to Reinhardt. Florida back in position. New York back in on transition. Over to Lundell. Takes his attack inside the pyramid neutral zone. The face off in. And stopped by Shesterkin. Over again. Good row. Reinhardt takes it away. Lundell up with it now. 
Going on the back end, Panarin with the steal. Panarin scoots it over. Pito shoots, and stopped by Bobrovsky with a save, and this one stopped by under six minutes. They're really having a hard time out there. They're trying to keep the attackers open, and he wants to find a man in open average. Barkov is only taking his moment to go from here. He is all alone, and he can try to do, once the penalty is regained, he can do a penalty shot to go right in between the legs. Most of all, in between the two, Barkov and Sidney Crosby got, may have some great backhands in between. If Barkov takes it over the penalty box, he will get it right in there and go for the old kill. We'll see how well Barkov can do with the all on advantage if he has one. Back to you guys. Strom takes the puck. Fires the puck across the good row. Oh, the misconnection fee was tipped away. Jones shoots and stopped again by Bobrovsky. He really would like to try to do it again, but the player of himself from Bobrovsky got it down again. He took a big hit. Schneider, left of his own, saved the pad. Schneider, back to Panarin. Panarin loses the puck. Burhegi takes it back. Marchman with the puck. That's tipped off. Weger up on over to Markov. Shoots one, takes it wide. And saved by the circuit. That one takes a care here with under four minutes. And now for a face-off attack. Still scoreless in the first period. Offensive zone wins the tip-off. Face-off attack. Oh, it saves the double timing enough. For Shesterkin, he was going to try to hell things down the board. Not really going to be happening tonight. Barkov going to throw through is Verhege. Verhege lost the puck. Rangers are picking up steam. Breeze up with it now. Oh, bad pass. He gives him up. And Truba will have to clear the puck. Almost went out of the zone. He has to fix himself to try to regain their group. They can't be losing their man to try to hold the average and get right to it. Marchman with the puck. Shoots one, scores! That's his first goal. The Panthers are on the board. Talk about that one here. Mason Marchman was going to try to hit the deck. And with two times, he had it through. What a play. Panthers wins the faceoff with under two minutes to play in the first period. The score is 1-0. Here's Truba, takes away, and Lafanier goes back the other way. Lafanier to Truba. Puck is almost tipped away. Finds Lafanier, up and again. Shot was tipped wide. Up back to Zibanejad. Shoots one, saved off again, out to Bobrovsky. Wow, the big body check was going to be a hit. Back to Zibanejad. Zibanejad backhand to Miller. Backhand to Truba. Going for the left, and Bobrovsky saves it once more. Got a little heavy matchup out there. Have right to be careful. In the low now, Adam Fox can try to stick with the main here on tape to tape zone ability. He can find the open play players and take the puck here with the pass and try to take him what he can do. Same thing with Herbidou as well. He can also find a man opener. If the puck is loose and try to take things away, we'll see what he can do to try to hold them back. Guys, back to you. Shooting save and stop by Bobrovsky. That ends the first period. one nothing is a score for Pampers League. We'll be back with you shortly after this. Team back into the ice. It's about to go things down. Papers are in, in position. We're about to underway your next one in the second period. Fox dish off to Lafaniere. Scoops the pass to Zabanajan. That gets tipped away. Verhege back again. Up to Burkhoff. Wow! 
This big hit was been delivering from Barkov. He got slammed down. Well, it looks like the medical attention might be going in there. He might be heavy on that one. Fox carries it offside for the New York Territory. Both teams are an aggressive start. That may have happened here, but a second to after the first period was been lifted out. They're very hard to try to grease up the momentum out there. They do. They got something else down here because if they couldn't find the players to go with an open advantage, they may not have anybody to go right from here. Briegi takes the puck. He swings off to Agblad. Over again to Markov. Markov races towards the upper's end. Taking shot and stopped by Sisterkin. Fox with it now. Their team is in the offensive zone. The pass to Lindgren. Going inside, backhand, and stopped. Schroen refires the group. Lafaniere over now. Re rebounding is Kreider. Over to Schroen. Open man and just got away with it. Truba in the attack shot and it's swap wide. Kreider and Miller are trying to like keep the eye on the target. They do. They couldn't try to like keep the man opener. They need somebody to go right through it instead. Two on one. Weger. Sick lift. That's stopped by Kreider. Truba knocked down. Over again to Duclair. Duclair inside, going into in front. The circuit saves. A never passing error attempt to go with the shot for Duclair. He would have got it all inbound. It's true, honestly, no. And I would have seen much player is needed. Bennett back the other way. Try to hold up Uyghur. It's tipped away by Truba. Panarin. With the shot, fires and saved off. Goes again by Bobrovsky. Passes over to Benarin, right back to Snyder. Moves it quickly to Jones. Jones over to Snyder, shoots in the middle. Gloves catch by Bobrovsky. That holds on to the puck with under 15 minutes. Both of the teams got a lot of heavy runs so far. And I'm going to tell you about the Sisterkin. He had earned a Virgie Trophy. He really does, actually. What a great ability to try to take their run off into the on the podium. They really got a great one to try to hustle it down. And made that one a great attempt to try to pick up their run. Now I think Shisterkin can try to keep up for next season. And maybe their team could be in the finals. Shisterkin, what a catch. And oh, blocked out. Pass is taken away by Duclair and saved up again. Oh, what a block down. Duclair saved again by Shisterkin. That one carries the puck with just under 14 to play. Teams are ready to be in the faceoff. The Panthers have one nothing lead over the Rangers. Higher still average as Fox has one. Reeves will take it from here. Reeves with the puck. That's stopped by Lundell. Over again is Reeves. Around the back. McKay. Look out shot. Eckblad with the block. Reeves back to Fox. Going to take one. This shot's blocked the other way. McKay. Shoots the other way. Fires and miss wide. Lundell up to Reinhardt. Now over to Tippett. Florida's regaining control in back on offensive zone. McKegg takes it away. Now Lindgren will hold it up from here. McKegg back the other way. They're making new changes here on the offensive zone. They do need somebody to help them out. They can't be losing a man to try to stay focused and clearly with that one. They don't want to lose their man in average. Barabrowski saves again now with a clear view. The vision is perfect. Now ready for the faceoff. This one is about to be a heavy battle in between the coast of the east, Atlantic and Metropolitan. Into Lindgren. He finds Fox. Back pass to Lindgren. With the shot. 
It's blocked up by Verhege. Wow, you, somebody had to revenge that one. I don't know who did, but it was turned out to be uh, Lafayette. Here's Markov. It's blocked out. Just Sturkin saves it again. Lafayette with the puck. In the attack, he goes right towards the puck. Lafayette scoots back, shoots and fires and saves. Zibanejad, Ekblad, and Panarin, 2 on 1, she scores! Lafayette ties the game, and the assist has bring things on with uh, Panarin's ability. What a great eye! Because Panarin was going to try to succeed that run, he misses off over to Lafayette. Give it all he got, and he put it in. Those teams are tied in between the two as we approach to the mid-period in the second period. A tough battle in between the two and one seed. Here's the number one angle for Gudos. He finds Marchman. Blocked up away by another player of defenseman of Far Farclay Goodbro. They're all chanting, let's go Panthers. Over again is Verhege. He goes to Barkov. Barkov racing towards the end. Over to Verhege. Oh man, rush! Oh, he stopped! How did he get a piece of it? Ben Aaron up into Strom. Strom inside. Gets off to Goodrow. Gudas takes it over. A lot of bad in betweens. The, the turnovers is causing trouble for New York. And sometimes, and however, he could lose it. He could take it away, though, and may not be a good idea to try to stop one. Truba finds Goodrow. Another bad pass. Now Goodrow has the puck. New York is in the attack. Goodrow over to Hunt. Back over to Goodrow. Barbrowski will push it over to Forslane. Bennett with the puck. Under eight minutes to play in a second, it's a tying score run. Hunt shot. Scores! Bennett takes his goal. Their team is back up by one. Herbert was delivering the man pressure that he wants to try to fix things up a bit. He can try to find Bennett. And with that score run, he gives it all we got. It deflected off of uh, Sisterkin with the save of the pad. And it went from behind the net. They try to pick it up. Score! Picks it back in, and they are now catching away. Interesting now that Anthony Duclair was going to try to breathe out of the air. He was the pressure to bring it up here. The Panthers are not done yet. Firing a puck around is Mika Zibanejad. Lafayette with the puck. With the shot. Back the other way, and Lafreniere gets a two goal in the game. Oh boy, the back-to-back -back hand was Alexis Lafreniere. I don't know what to tell you this one here. He was on quick. Guess who's back? It was Lafreniere to try to seek the revenge. New York Rangers are picking up the speed here. They're with only 7.06 to go, but he's still got time. Now with Ekblad, he gets over to Declare. Duclair over again. Oh, Duclair! Sister can stop again. Lafayette scooting in. Overdue with the puck. He fires over to Ekblad. That's pimped up by Lafayette. Herberdue again. That's still on Lafayette. Got a heavy one to get right into it. Kreider with the puck. That takes away by Lundell. Herberdu over again up to Renhard. Ryan over to Herberdu, saved off by Sisterkin. Herberdu went the other way. Man out of the way, and Reeves right over to Panarin, no Kreider. Lundell back over to Tippett. Nearing a minute of five, here's Reinhardt, scores! That's a back-to-back -back score, trying to trick on to Sirkin. So Reinhardt was not really like trying to like pick things up a bit. He was going to try to liberate the one-timer goal, was delivering huge skills.
The now their team is already up by two. The icing is the call on New York. Most plays are turning in between. Panthers are in the lead for two. Reeves walking out for the puck drop and a block with the shot. Over to McKay. Looking for two on one. Reeves with the puck. Finds Lindgren. Shoots to the left. That's stopped up by Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky's so good at this point. He's never going to lose it. Lindgren right in the other way. Over by Bobrovsky. Going to take the goal and not with McKay. He now stops the puck with 4-11 to go. Now there are much more times needed. They still got a lot of high average here in between the two. Florida wins in the defensive zone. Ekblad reaching over to Verhege. Try to reach inside. Verhege shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Now for to Panarin. Panarin over again. And it just went. Couldn't find the man opener. Fox tries again. Back is shot. Stopped again by Bobrovsky. Puck clears up. We have a going in to make a play through to try to hold the deck. They really need to do that one again. They went too far. Strove shoots and scores. That's Panarin on second assist. They are coming back down by one. That was a tape to tape skills here for our Temi Panarin for two in a row. Now for Ryan Strom. He will never try to leave the man out of range to pick up his moment. That's right. And our Timmy Panarin's got a great take to tape zone, but sometimes he wants to make it snappy and try to hold things right from the board. It will be tricky, though. However, we will find out who will take it from here. And that might be a rough one to try to pull a deck on the other end. The power play is up for New York, and this one calls for a boarding of a hold on Marchman. And this one's going to be a power play to come up for New York for tonight in Game 5. Those two teams are tough one to be matched. Now the power play is on for New York. Only 2.31 to go. Forcing over to Gudas. Garkov will deliver it off the end and Lindell up the other way. That's taken away by Miller. Now he swings to Hedo. Hedo in the other hand. Puck is out of trouble range. That one scoots back for the bit Pampers. Yeah, out of the zone. Keandre Miller finds Hedo. There's a shot. Deny up in traffic. That really has to stay out of the puck. He really got a good handle. That puck is taken away by Forsling. Clears the puck out of the way. Chuba, this off to good row. New York back in a position. The offside is whistled. They're in the approachment in the game clock at the end of the second period. 4 3 is where we left off. That Uyghur takes a feed off. Nice help for Panarin. Strom tries the other way. 35 seconds to play in the power play for New York. And last minute to play in for the second period. The puck is dripped out of the way. Not a good sign at all. They need somebody help. Panarin back the other way. Time is ticking away for the power play. Panarin shot. Blocked up in front. What a save. Now the power play is over. We're under 30 seconds to go. Marchman wasn't happy enough to be here, but thank goodness they couldn't tie this game. Bennett, right over to Herbidu. Three seconds. Stick lifted. Up at the back. And that ends the second period. Tough games in between. Rangers are looking for a way to tie the game. 4-3 is the score. Her period's coming up after this.
third period, third time. It's time to finish this game. It's been a great first two periods here in game five, as right now the Pampers are shutting them down here in game five here. Amazing tournament to be out there, a 3-1 lead for the Rangers. It looks like the Rangers might be going to the Stanley Cup Finals, but first, they got to beat against the New York team. Yeah, it's definitely a New York team because everyone else is just complaining because they are the toughest team that they have played here so far. Not just like he was the only one who wants to get better at that point, but a lot of players, they do want their Stanley Cup out there. Could be exciting. Here and here is the back pass. Now quickly over to Fox. Oh, he put a knockdown punch. Wow, what a stop here. That was like the only biggest contact out there. Just like football, that you go for a big tackle and take down. Like you've never done it before. Barkov takes it away, shoots it, and snub saved by Sir Sturkin. That one holds the puck here for under 18 minutes. And I hope you enjoyed watching the Stanley Cup Finals of the Avs and Bolts. If you're not on the dark side, then we still don't appreciate your support. I uh, just like New York Rangers, they don't want the Bolts to win. They want to win on their own. They do. They have to. Scores! It's Ekblad. And the score is now picked up. 5-3. Aaron Ekblad, the only assistant captain that has only made a scoring drought. Their team is like picking up pressures of steam. They have it all down on their boards. They like to do on their own to give it a range. Here's good row back the other way. New York on the attack. Takes a shot and got Herbert to up. Up to Bennett. Bennett looks over it again with the open player man advantage. Good row takes the putt. Now he swings it over on the outside. Fires the puck outside. Now back to the backhand. Stepping Aaron. Fires looks like he got initiated, but then it looks like they have declined it. They're really declining the puck out there. All of a sudden, because the Panera went down, he lost his helmet, and then all of it with that one, he couldn't make that call. And here's the call as Silver Spoon has it on standby. Jonathan Hubadoo has gotten some tape to take feeds of this one. He has made a great ability to find his open teammate and go for the open passes that he wants to go. Now their teammate is finding the pressure to get right into the ball game. And a puck game. He will see how Jonathan Hubadoo gets there and try to get back into the offensive on the board. We'll see how well he does here, guys. Back to you. Ekblad blocked in traffic. That's another block in traffic. Two in a row, not going to be able to be succeeding out there. Here's Kito, takes a shot, knocked down and saved me by Bobrovsky. That one clears the puck here for just 15.07 to go. Still lots of use of its time left here for the New York Rangers to pick up. They got a lot of it down to try to pick things up. Rangers make the win. Fox on the outside, takes it back to Lindgren. In the middle, Lafreniere back to Zibanejad. Fires the puck, nobody man on open, they took it away. Verhage's moving in. Kreider pushes it out of the way. Here's one of the want the puck, just give it to me. Fox, locked up at the pass. Kreider takes the puck away. Oh, Marchman, blocked out! What a stop! And that was a great defense by the New York Rangers. They got it down. They're looking for a good one. Rangers on the attack. That's still blocked in traffic. Now it's Weger up again. Weger up on front. Has it the shot, and Strom takes it. Loose it out! Shoots it and saves me by my circuit. Now it swings off the Lafayette. Lafayette scooting inside. Strom on the left hand. Shoots one and saved again. Then draft it up. 
They really got nowhere to go right now because they are going to get something else to go with a better attacking. They need to find someone an open man advantage to get right into this. Here's another passing at Hampton. Going right to the goaltender won't be enough to get there. Lundell. And it goes off at the loose of the puck. Here's Goffier. Facing a man attackage. Backhand will not be there in time and that will, will stop Bob Rofsky. 11.27 to go. They still got really tired and trying to help things up already. I don't know what to tell you. We've gone inside the offensive zones. We're not covering up really well. They got to change something else out there instead of their weakness skills to try to pick it up. And the fight has been initiated. They are going for it. Not a very good skills at all because that one is a tough bounder. They got to go with a crush out and try to fit it back. And that one takes down. Goffier just couldn't believe how this all happened. Both players are in the penalty box for a fighting call as Scudas and Goffier had a little rough and brutal fight. Now that's not what we really want to do. Because the players were trying to like keep in that contact, they want to just try to like uh, keep it steady out there. He wants to mess them up already. But that's not going to help the players to get back in the offense if he wants to get better at this point. So they're, they're not going to try to like succeed it through and then try to like help things up here because they got too many to do on their own. Goffier, and here's Hunt. He's racing towards the end of his own. Takes a shot, and it's knocked away by Morowski. Hito with the puck, shoots and saved me by the goaltender. Hunt, back to Schneider. Schneider, with the shot, it lifted wide. Rangers still keeps the puck alive past the midway mark. Now here's Duclair. Takes it over by Jones. A great poke check. Duclair inside. Oh, he just couldn't try to answer it. Bennett up the other way. Pass to Duclair. Great block by Schneider. Now he goes back to Forsling. Up again. It's stopped up again. Over to Forsling again. Shoots one, hammers wide. Over to Rahman Huberdu. And it's now back to Lafayette. Going for a breakaway. Backhand stopped by Bobrovsky. He's doing a big bang favorite. Yeah, everybody really loves Bobrovsky, but not for Veselevsky. Yeah, everybody's disagreeing on Veselevsky. He's like the only uh, improvement player to be playing here with the Bolts. But it looks like the Brevilevsky would have had made it to contract here. They could have brought in a, a real legendary player like uh, Flurry Smith. Like they want to call for that one. They really need somebody else that they try to keep him up with. Kreider with the pop backhand won't come enough. That will be stopped here by Bobrovsky. If you're tuning in to the NBA, we like to thank you so much for your support of all with your love, and I can't wait to see how well the next season will be up here to have a sneak peek look here for season seven. Yeah, we're still keeping it going because if you're still NBA fans, we you know we still got your support. I love the NBA. This is one of the best play parts of everybody a uh, whole part of the game. Like Stephen Curry and the other players, I really love this one here too. You gotta make me add in there if you want. <laughs> if, if I want to do that, maybe you have to do it for me. Well, if you want, I can do it for you. <laughs> of course. Berhage on to the neutral zone. Now he passes to Marchman. Great poke check by Lindgren. Now here's Panarin. Going for a snappy move. In with the shot. Troll. Oh my goodness. Four in a row. Wow, he is like a delivering of this game. It tough now. The transition for Bobrovsky was still going all over the place. The quick reaction and quick timing and quick moment to hold the puck. 
Rangers keeps it alive. Puck, oh man, that clears it out of here. And right now they're going to have to bring it back the other way. That brings it back over. Lindgren, and it fires the puck off the, out of the target. Almost went to deflection with the discommunication here. Strome reaching inside. Now up to Benarin. Going in front. That one stopped up. Strome. In a zone, the attacker knocked away by the defender. And Aaron back the other way. Cuba over to Miller. Five minutes to play. Miller shot. Stopped again. Oh, good road. Miller couldn't make it a better timing out there, but he just made a no moment. That really does stand out. They want somebody else to try to like keep it out of here. The range, the depths of danger. Miller shot blocked. Rooney go ahead and try to save the puck. Not along the boards. And a tuck is caking over. DeAndre Miller to Truba. Back to Miller. The pass is broken up. Urban is guided on across the offensive boards. Montour back the other way. He slides it back towards Duclair. Oh, he put a big banger on the body stick. He could have just tried to make it down and make them pay for it. All it does turn out to be one time is successful. They need some help. Scores! Bennett has got two goals in the game. The Panthers are coming back. Herbert New and the other teams of Sam Bennett as it all in covered in bounds. The players got it all in great hydrogenic. They got it all pressured out. They are ready to go back to game six. And the tough teams are always trashing in bounds, has it all in cover. They got a lot of stuff going on here, guys. Zubanajad back to Gudas. Miller carries it offside, and this one will stop the play under three minutes. And here's another good one. That's Jonathan Herbadu. Got a great moment to take his ability on his way down from the ice. He can make a great tape to tape feed. And he can try to find an open man coverage and try to pick it up. On the other hand, it may be a tough one to try to think about ahead. More than often, it may be a tough to try to go from plan A to plan B. Now their team is going for it in the attacker zone. The replacement here, as we have always known, as just Sturkin, would have been out. But the last thing that they never go for is go for Georgiev in the game in the, in the semifinal to finals. That stopped off by Shesterkin. Nad Miller takes it over. Lafayette back the other way. He now suits it inside. Takes a back pass to Fox. Pick a big hit. Trying to hold up with the blow. And it will be stopped to play here with just a minute and 17 to go. Ekblad could have gotten a steal. Yeah, it was very that tough already, but a lot of great hustling inbound. It looks like the Panthers are going to be coming back here and ready for game six. That is going to not going to help him. Backhand, and he says no. We have one minute left to play in the third period. 6-3 is a score. Stopped again by Borowski. Lindgren up with it. Here's Hedo. Backhand shot. He scores. That's his first goal in game five. And it won't be enough to get into motion here. The Rangers really need some help out there. They've waited so long already, but thanks to Philip Hill, he's got a backhand release. And a lot, a lot, a lot of nice hustle moment out there. He's well on the, on the go. And for that moment, he got a very good tough range. The Rangers are closing the gap here with just only 48 seconds. They're looking for another man to take the advantage here. As he now has it in here, icing is the call on New York. On the other way, here for another face-off puck. The score is coming down the wire here, and we might be seeing some new season ready to bring things for NHL 23. I'm really sure that we're going to try to, like, go for a different matchup. I'd love to, I'd love to take a look at who had it gotten in there. Hunt, try to go with another look. Lindgren back to Fox. 30 seconds to play in a third period. 
the shot for Hedl. That denies off in traffic. Barkov off to Verhage. 20 seconds left. Takes it away by uh, Hedl. Only 10 seconds left to play. Hedl needs something. And it's taken away. Marchman is going to go all alone. Scores! Marchman! End of the game! The breakaway. All relieves on Mice and Marchman. He is pressuring things on. He says, that's the game. It looks like we're going to have a good night. And that is all we have. The Rangers got crushed in game five. Only three and four. And plus game one is relit. Right now, the Panthers are back in strength. They got it all down out there. Because of what they've done so far, they got tough enough to go from here. We all salute fans here, including the Panther and the mascot. We love that one. Interesting to me now, the tough one's always in the books. And that should do it, dear folks. Game five's complete. Stay tuned for game six of the Eastern Conference Finals and Western Conference Finals. We'll have more coverage here next time on the NHL 22. With that being said, me, OJ, and Silver Spoon are gone. This has been a presentation of the Eastern Conference Finals of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. So long in Sunrise, Florida. Now we paint the post-game show to Son of Beast. All yours, partner. All right, thank you so much, Mithon. With all the compliment out there, we got some great players. Mason Marchman, two goals and two hits. A breakaway chain. That is where it happens to be the odd man rush and have it all down. Number two is Aaron Ekblad, only one goal and assist and four hits. All it does turn out is unstoppable force. Didn't see that one play. I've never uh, seen the, uh, the highlights so far. Wow. And the first star, Sam Bennett. Two goals and assists. All three stars did a great job. And a third eye just got it all down. What a stop here for Sam Bennett. And that should do here for the game. Game six. We'll be coming back here on uh, uh, this one again at the Garden. And then if there's still more games left, well, it could be the end of the run for in between the two of the Panthers and the Rangers. They got battle the heat motion out there, and this is, was a very tough one to try to pick up their gap. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. They're game six of this game. So long, everyone. And until a while, until a while, as the NHL 22 Stanley Cup playoff dial. Get them safe, folks.